So a sort of an amendment from series one to series two, um, I think shows the direction in which the real estate industry is starting to move forward um, in that we're starting to see conversations around ESG as being so prevalent. But I'm very, very conscious that BXP have really been you know, hitting this hard for, for some time now. Um, perhaps, and I know you're not necessarily the best person, Ben Myers, your head of sustainability yes. that is, but could you give us just a, a bit of a, a basic overview of, of what you're trying to achieve uh, at BXP with that yeah. um, ESG strategy? Yeah, so I, I, you know, so it's really been a journey. I mean, I'm really, t I support Ben, I'm again, Greece his skids whatever he needs uh to get his job done and you know as you mentioned we've been on this i, I think it's a case study and what we've done because uh i look back and you know when we first did our yeah. first crez filing in 2014 it was it was a it was a, a nightmare because you couldn't yeah. the, the data was uh, assembled in a very manual way you couldn't trust the data and we went on this data journey using these capabilities we had built to basically rationalize this automate it and just like you know ben can click the button now a month ahead of time with complete confidence and completely audit it it's just like it's changed the way so once you measure you measure yourself you know, measure yourself you know ben is a big proponent of like how you measure yourself internally against again this decentralized you know organization we can actually build this kind of competitive dynamic of driving uh, uh, continued change and people you know have you know having a having a, a star to kind of point to and really being being doing it in a measured way so that has been you know we were able to state uh, publicly state uh, goals uh, we met you know five years we met those early we restated we I think we met those early like we've been on this journey because I think fundamentally we built this this data fabric you know that allows us to uh, to measure ourselves um, and uh, and then to have an engagement model Ben chairs a sustainability subcommittee about probably about 40 40 people 30 people on the committee um, that is continually talking about uh, the, the the goals that we want to do next so so obviously yeah. you know ESG is kind of more like the you know, the ES and the G and the you know um, uh, uh, away from E, but E is still foundationally the really important well, paradigm, right? I, I don't um, know if you, if you agree, but I mean the the E is is the pledge, right? It's that mm -hmm. this is what we're going to do, and and I just want to go back a step with some of the stuff that you've just said because I think it's it, you know when you've lived and breathed it like you have within um, Boston properties for for so long, it's probably just relatively flippant but for those of people who don't are not aware of, of jim and ben and and bxp i think it's really important to, to sort of factor in that i mean i've heard ben speak and and he said you know back in 2014 you literally had no idea about the data at all um and as a consequence you couldn't build anything from that and fast forward to 2018 and you know bearing in mind as you said earlier on you are the largest publicly traded developer owner manager in north in in america of class a office spaces within four years you were then able to report on all of that data in some form of granular detail so that is a four-year data journey that you went on in order to help you understand the sort of the credentials that you had to to work from and if i'm if i'm not mistaken using that data you were then able to then start saying well this is the pledge we're going to make on the e mm -hmm. side of all of this yeah, that's correct yeah. yep um and and i just if only because i think it's so important to, for people to realize um you know listening again um ben to ben speaking you know you're making a pledge of 32 percent reduction um in terms of energy use reduction from 2008 measures by 2025 mm -hmm. we're talking about a decarbonizing operation by 2025 there's a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that you guys are are really pledging it, on and yeah and and then you have elevated reporting requirements so that this data generally continues right yeah. Uh, because you know whatever's going to come out with the SEC requirements uh, as a public company are are going to be um, we, we are we're already prepping how to be responsive to those right so th this data journey doesn't stop with um, because of these commitments because of the elevated re reporting requirements let alone our partnerships um, you know our JV partners and others and and our local local areas in Boston and New York and San Francisco that are driving regulatory changes. So the dynamic of the uh, of the 
of the environment around this specific topic is uh, going to be a continuous journey. And um, so we're just we're playing. We're already we're already underway at our next chapter and what we need to do and prepping and and um, and uh, yeah, it's a you know. And then the other thing is like going, I'm very proud of what we've done as a platform in in our you know our, our DEI programs and our diversity being very proud of, of how and, and we do that just like we do everything else really thoughtfully and really yeah. with 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 uh with a real that that was a fabulous um execution in the last uh in the last 18 months um and it's going to change the culture of our company in a in a you know with a commitment uh from the senior management on on what we stand for as a as a, as a platform and as a company so it is it's true and i'll um I'll save the the talk of the S and the G until uh, I, I'm I'm with Ben and, and we can we can talk about it in in more detail. Yeah. But it's it's often the thing I find in in the property sector it is so often missed because E I think it, being a pledge is is relatively straightforward. And actually, I will again just because I was really impressed by it and and the transparency in how BXP are are, um, are actually committing to use that mm -hmm. word. In this. So there's a really good, if any of you are interested in terms of the bxp.com for such commitment and actually have a look at, you know, they've got S, um, ESG reporting on here. You've got all of the sort of the pledges that are being made. I think it's really important for large organizations to, to really um, stick to. But, you know, the, the pledging element is always relatively straightforward. And the, and the sort of the social and the governance is, I often think, is a sort of an afterthought because it's a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more difficult to, to instigate. But that's for another conversation.